families and welcome to week three of Ready, Set, Go. As a reminder, we are talking about the life-changing teachings from the Sermon on the Mount. This week we were talking about prayer. Jesus teaches us how to say powerful prayers that are honoring to God. We were in the book of Matthew chapter six, which we say big six in Found Kids, little or verse five through 16. I encourage you to be in Matthew six verses five through 16 and read it and read it again with your kids this week. Use their go home guide as something that you use in your nighttime devotions to spark conversation and get them thinking about what they heard on Sunday. Encourage them to be in prayer this week. One of our activities was um, they got a prayer band with a fellow student's name and prayer request on it. Challenge them. If they don't have it on their wrist, hey, who did you have? Who were you supposed to be praying for? And be praying with your students for their friends in Fountain Kids. Our key verse this week was found in Jeremiah 29, 12, and it goes like this. Then you will call out to me. You will come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. Jeremiah 29, 12. Okay, that was a slow version. Here we go. So it goes like this. Then you will call out to me. You will come and pray to me and I will listen to you. Jeremiah 29, 12. One more time. Then you will call out to me. You will come and pray to me and I will listen to you. Jeremiah 29, 12. Get that rooted in your heart. Get that rooted in your kid's heart. What a powerful truth. When we call out to our father, he listens to us. How awesome is that? I love that. I love that. I love that. Um, we are still collecting socks. One more week if your kids want to donate to No More Cold Feet. Um, our mission's focus this month, and we look forward to seeing your students next week for the fourth and final week of Ready, Set, Go, and we learn about Jesus' teaching on worry.